one of those biggest benefits of buying a townhouse versus an apartment certainly is that you've got generally more space and more outdoor space and mm. that you've got that effectively it sort of works like a like a house like a mini house yeah mm. and and can often have very similar features to a house um but but at a lower buy-in price because you're not owning the land but so you can stay part, yeah in your area that you want to be in that you want to be land is expensive mm. So the the land component is the thing that you give up, but um, you own a small proportion to a a degree of the the greater strata title ownership of the property or the the land that you sit on. So you're paying a bit more for the house or the property, the the property that sits on the land than the land itself. Um, But when you look at an apartment, I think one of the biggest things for me is not having someone up above and below is mm. maybe one of those big benefits of if you can choose between a house and a townhouse is that your neighbours are beside you, not on top of you or below you. And here's a really practical um, application of that. If you want timber floors, right, and you're in an apartment, yeah. you are going to have to put this special battening down. You may not actually be able to get, put you timber get floors. get approval. Yeah. And you may not be able to get suitable type of uh, flooring that isn't transferring noise down below or you might be in a building where they haven't had the rules in place and the person above you has put flooring in either hasn't got approval or mm. didn't need to get approval mm. and clomp 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 every time they wear high heels you are going nuts <laughs> so you don't get that you can make your own you can you can do whatever you want when you're when you're stacked above yourself as opposed to stacked above or below other neighbors so the multi-level townhouse means that you've got more flexibility internally yeah, absolutely. That doesn't mean that you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. There are still body corporate or strata owners corporations that um, that you need to seek approval from for certain things. Some mm. things you can do internally without any permission required whatsoever. Do a kitchen, a bathroom, you know, anything that doesn't require structural changes probably is within your scope to be able to do without approval. But then there are other things maybe to the, for those trades to be able to access the complex that you live in, you might mm. need permission for those trades to actually come in um, and to be utilising the roads and so forth that that they need to to get to your townhouse. So, And logistically, you know, if you're doing that in an apartment, literally you've got to basically be carrying materials in and out, usually in lifts and there's, there's all sorts mm. of, in fact, there are, you know, you have to have bylaws written to allow you to do your renovation. In an apartment, you know, they're very strict rules. In a townhouse, it's going to be case by case. 